<clears throat> then next, we got the main event. Fuller exchanges. This is the fight. I, I if the pay per view would have cut off after the TJ and Cody fight, I would have been okay. <laughs> I'm glad I got to see this bet. And, and with this fight, I was even. I was kind of looking at my phone because I was still just in shock about the other two fights. I was because I was looking at my phone, looking at Twitter. So I was just catching glimpses. But George was looking good. <laughs> George was looking good. And then in the second round. My, uh, it looked like George was tired. It looked like he was very tired. Mike, Mike was catching him. Then in, in the third, George gets a takedown. Or was it in the second? I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I, I was, I was, uh, I, I was, cra I was going crazy, man. I was going crazy. I was going crazy, man. In the second or third, George gets a takedown. He's in Mike's guard. Mike's posting him, posting him, throwing the elbow. Posting him up with the other hand. Throwing the other elbow. And he had him cut up. In the third, they get back up. <clears throat> I'm sorry. In the third, they get back up. George catch. Man, I be forgetting the, the fight ending shots. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I forget the fight ending shots. But he, I think I want to say it was an, a left hook. I want to say he was a left hook. He caught him wet. Ground to pound. Ground to pound. I was like, oh, no, he's not going to finish him. He's not going to finish him. Mike's fighting off. George is going to be tired. This is going to be the beginning of the end. Then he takes his back. Locks in. The rear naked choke. No body lock needed. And Mike went out, man. Mike went out, man. That was a crazy night. Crazy night. I'm going to have to re-watch the fights to fire, to figure out, like, what were the fight ending shots. And just, just to remember. Because I was, I was after the Yoana fight, I was just antsy, bro. I had goosebumps, man. It, it was a crazy night of fights, man. Crazy night of fights, bro. Oh, my God. But, man, with GSP, he's, he's still here, he said. Either, I really want him to stay at 85 and fight Robert Whitaker. Old school versus new school. Because one, Robert Whitaker, he, he he's going to hit a lot harder than, <laughs> than Bisping and a lot faster. I think that would be a good fight. Plus, Robert, I, I, we know in his last fight, yo, took him down. And was was able to get keep him down, not really do any damage. But he's able to keep him down. Robert eventually got up, but he was working hard. <clears throat> I want to see that. If he goes down to 170 and they put up against T. Wood, I'm okay with that. Because right now at 170, I thought Game Bread could pull it through. But right now at 170, there's RDA versus Lawler. Maybe if, if, if one of them wins decisively. But right now 170 is, is up, up for grabs, man. So, whatever they do with that, I'm kind of going to be okay with with it. But I I want Rob, Robert Whitaker. He deserves a chance to solidify his place as a champion because he is the best middleweight in the world. Let's not get it twisted. Robert Whitaker is the best middleweight in the world. I'm going to quit rambling on, man. I know I'm mostly a, a video game channel, but I love fighting. I love it. I love this shit. I mean, I love this stuff. God damn. Mm -mm. I'm not. I'm not bleeping that out either. Uh, but I love this stuff, man. But I'm the post. The post fight interviews are on. So I'm for the watches. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video or these videos, I think I'm gonna cut it in three. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.